Hey, hey, how you guys are doing? This is Edgar Brown back with another video. And uh, I would like to uh, give a shout out to all my fans who have subscribed me and also people who have been against me. You know what I'm saying? I don't hate my support. Um, hate people that um, who are against me. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, you know, we all here to dis to agree to disagree. You know, I don't expect everyone to agree with my views. But anyway, I want to talk about a very touchy topic, and it has something to do with my thoughts on police brutality. Now, here's the thing: I am a firm supporter of the Black Lives Matter, okay, movement. Um, I live in Binghamton, New York, and we don't experience a lot of police brutality of any of that stuff up here in New York but it does not mean just because it happens in the states does not mean we should not um, you know call call it out for what it is um, the fact of the matter is um, young african-american men get killed by uh, police you know at an alarming rate um, people were just protesting still protesting to this day uh, what happened to George Floyd and other innocent African American men who have been who died in the hands of police? My thing is, you know, when a citizen or a civilian kills a cop, you know, the law would literally um, throw them under the jail, you know, and and sometimes they will get a death sentence for killing a cop. But when a cop kills a civilian unjustifiably. It just seems like cops rarely ever uh, get a murder charge. Now, I've seen cops get murder charges before, but not at an alarming rate when it's vice versa when it comes to citizens killing, uh, killing cops. And you know, there 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 needs to be. Um, we should hold cops um, with the same accountability that we will hold people who kill who uh, do vice versa the cops that kill cops. And I just feel that. Um, you know, cops have been getting away with killing innocent citizens, innocent African Americans for decades. And as a people, you know, we should um, definitely fight for equality, you know, racial equality, and to stand against uh, police brutality because a lot of it has to do with cops being um, bullied when they were kids. And now that they're cops, now they're becoming bullies but just basically bullies with badges and guns and the fact of the matter is I am totally against it okay at the end of the day whenever a person a man or woman puts on that uniform he is basically supposed to set an example he is supposed to be even more upstanding he is supposed to um, teach the public right from wrong okay he is supposed to restore peace within the public not going around shooting and killing innocent people because, um, excuse my tearing because something wrong with my eye. Going around killing innocent people because he can, because he carries a badge and a gun. And the fact is, you know, I true strongly believe that black lives matter. But of course, you know, you're going to have some people, especially Caucasian people, are going to feel all lives matter. Well, if that's the case, why is it that the police target African American men? far more than Caucasian men. You know why? Because to this day, and I truly believe that the black man, especially the black man, is the most hated and feared man walking the earth. And we still deal with racial inequality. Because if that's the case, we wouldn't be hearing these stories about African American men getting shot by police, getting choked by police, and, you know, and, and et cetera, et cetera. But the fact of the matter is, you know, as a people, we still have ways to go as far as being fully accepted and respected and whatnot. And the fact is, I am totally against police brutality, but I'm also for the Black Lives um, Matter movement. And the, I feel that as a community, we should not let shit like this slide because that could have been me, you, or anyone else who, you know, like George Floyd, who got choked to death. You know what I mean? What that cop did was murder. But like I said, you know, cops have been arrested. I've seen cops get um, charged with murder. It's just it just doesn't happen at um, an alarming rate. And like I said, cops should be held to the same um, standards as citizens who uh, commit murder. Why is it that if God forbid I turned around and I killed a cop, 
You know what I'm saying? The law will, per will prosecute me to the fullest extent of the law. I would never see the light of day if I kill a cop. But if a cop kills a citizen, you know what I'm saying? He either gets little to no jail time. And that is, that is outrageous. And it outraged me when I found out that George Floyd got literally choked to death. And it's not just him. You know, you had people like Sean Bell who got shot 50 times in New York City, uh, I think it was 15 years ago. And the cops walked out like nothing happened. You know, they didn't even get so much as a manslaughter char charge. At least with manslaughter, you get 15 years. Now, it's not, it, it, it's not as satisfying, but damn, at least it's better than nothing. You know what I mean? Cops can literally get away with murder. And and I've seen so many other examples. There was another guy. I think it was um, I think it was in Ferguson, where I think a young black man got killed by police, and it seemed like the cops um, walked out like it was nothing. You know, it's the same example. I forgot the other uh, black black sister's name. She got killed by police. I think she got shot by police. I forgot her name. And then it's just so many other. Um, examples and stories that police have had a habit of pretty much um, murdering innocent African Americans and it just seems like you know not too many people especially the law you know holds them to the same degree or the same standard if a person kill a cop because like I said if it was me or any other person that killed a cop murdered a cop we would not see the light of day. The judge would literally throw the book at us because, you know, in the eyes of the law, once you kill a cop, you are officially a villain. You are a menace to society. Okay? You are the bad guy. You killed the cop. And the fact is, I'm not saying that there's no good cops out there. But let's not kid ourselves. There's a lot of cops out there that, um, that are crooked, that basically are pretty much crooks in uniforms. And they take it upon themselves to beat and shoot and kill, you know, innocent African American uh, um, men, especially. And they think that they have this idea that they should just get away with it. But as a people, we need to continuously fight for racial equality and stand against police brutality. And the fact is, like I said, there, you know, there needs to be a change, man. You know, I'm just sick and tired of watching on the news. I hear another horror story of a young african-american male getting killed in the hands of police i will definitely make another video but this is my thoughts on police brutality i am Edgar brown and have a blessed day